Interested in increasing your sales opportunities by 45%? towards social selling. In this video, you'll get actionable ways to implement social selling in your call outreach campaigns to get more meetings booked and deals signed. What is social selling? Social selling is the process of searching for, qualifying, and reaching out to leads on social media channels such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Slack, Discord, etc. But let me be clear on one thing. Social selling is not spamming someone on every channel. No, the goal is to engage with your leads and build a relationship before coming to the selling step. For example, you don't want to send a generic and salesy message like this. Hi Nadja, thank you for answering yes on my poll. I would love to be connected with you on LinkedIn. Please sign up to our interview platform, blah, 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 where you can listen to tens of thousands of interview podcasts indexed by person host your guest, or post your own interview. The person here uses the pretext that Nadia answered a poll to promote her business. She doesn't care about a prospect. She's not trying to build a relationship with Nadia, nor tries to understand her needs. She only focuses on promoting her service. What you want to do is something like that. Hey, Romain, I saw that you commented on Estelle Mealy's post where she shared a PDF doc on best cold email practices by Lamlist. We just created an ebook, 83 pages on the subject, but way more precise. Are you interested in getting your hands on it? Why it works? Because because it shows I've done my research and identified one of his challenges, cold emails. I add value, I offer him to share a helpful ebook to help him. And I focus on building a relationship with my prospect. I don't sell. I know, all of this sounds great, but how can you get the best results out of social selling? I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to social media prospecting. Step one, determine what channels to use. You need to pick the channels that your audience is most likely to be active on, obviously. But how do you do this? Go to these social channels and see if you can find your target audience. Let's say my target audience is marketing managers and real estate working in pairs. I would go on LinkedIn and make a search based on these filters to find my ICP. Then I would go through the results to find the people that fit best based on things like their headline, current, past position, and mutual connections, and check out their activity. Next, you need to make sure they are really active on this channel. To know that, check out their recent activity, if they posted or liked, commented on someone's post. With all the info you got from your research, you should be able to figure out on what channels to talk with your prospects. Step 2. Have a good social media profile. Before connecting with your prospects, make sure your profile is ready. Imagine if they click on your profile after getting your message and they see this. It definitely doesn't instill trust. You don't want your profile to look fake or sketchy. So here are some simple guidelines to follow. Have a good profile picture, a good one. And complete your profile. Fill out some info to show that you're a real person. Make sure to add these elements headline, position, about section, and some info about what you do. Here's a good profile example. Lisa Gates added a nice profile and banner pictures. In her headline, you can see what her position is. She is a leadership and career coach and an instructor. And you can see that she talks about career development and women leaders on her LinkedIn. Last thing, you can see her current position and her last education on the right. With other social media like Twitter and Instagram, this info would be in the bio. Step three finding the right prospects. Now that you chose the right channels and have your profile ready, you want to find the right prospects to contact. How? By searching. Social media channels like LinkedIn are perfect for finding people in your target audience because you can use filters to narrow it down like we mentioned before. Here are some good filters you can use. Industry, past company, current company, location, language, Boolean search for the title. For example, growth, not manager meaning I'm looking for someone working in growth, but not in a manager position. Then, by looking for signals. Limit your search to people that will actually want to use your product and are at the right moment to buy so you don't waste your time and theirs. These signals can be companies that have recently raised funds or hiring or have recently grown their teams. Because if a company is doing any of these things, it means that they are going to need tools to manage the changes they are going through. You can also increase your conversion rate by reaching out to people that are likely to be interested in your product. The signals are they used to work for one of your current best clients, they follow your company's social media pages, or they are similar to your perfect ICV. Step 4. Build your personal brand. Last year, we've made around $1 million in revenue thanks to personal brands only. I don't believe you. Continue. If you want to get similar results, replicate this model. Start posting valuable content. Share content according to your leads' needs and the problems you solve. To find out what your audience might relate to, ask yourself, what is the thing you do best that your audience struggles with? Let me show you an example of Simon's post about mastering the art of cold emailing that got 531 likes and 
490 comments. He didn't face the pain of his audience that was his wants, not getting replies to the emails he sent. When I launched my first email sequence three years ago, I almost cried. I was so excited to get replies and I got exactly three out of 250 emails sent. Those were not the positive replies I expected, but something more along the lines of, do not contact me again ever. Well, shit happens. I kept it for months before getting good results. Luckily, you don't have to go through the same thing I did. Then it solves the problem. He offers a free ebook lamless launch about cold outreach and everything you need to level up your cold emails. That way, people don't have to go through the same failures you did. Why? Because we just launched our first ebook, totally free of course. This is the most comprehensive free cold outreach resource on the market and it took us three months to build. Inside you'll find how to set up proper email outreach funnel from targeting to sending, multi-channel advanced sequences with 40% reply rate, follow-up email strategies and templates that got us hundreds of meetings. We pretty much summed up our most successful sequences and outreach strategies from the last three years and unpacked them for you into our ebook. 83 pages packed with value. To get access, it's pretty simple. Like and comment on this post, add me if we're not connected. So focus on creating valuable content for your audience without asking for anything in return. That's how you win. Share personal experiences. You're selling to a person. This is why you need to be human in your posts. Take Nadia, for example. Other than posting multi-channel address tips, she also shares info about being a manager of sales team, remote work life and being a boss woman in sales. In this post, she shares the reality of being a manager, listing things you say in a day and it's relatable. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck is my team doing? Did I tell you to do that? Oh, I did, okay. Where's that report? Update your CRM. I need coffee. Do I have to do everything by myself? I love my team. I can't deal with this team. What would I do without my team? I don't have enough time. Heck yes, we're on the right path. We're doing it wrong, again. I suck at this job. I'm actually a pretty awesome manager. Stressed? Me? Never. Well, this was a product today, I guess. I'm finally done. Then she shares her tips in a video for first-time managers to spare them the same mistake she did. First-time managers, welcome to your new life. But trust me, it's freaking amazing. I've been in your shoes. Went into my management position way too early. Didn't have much mentorship or support. And I've made a bunch of mistakes along the way. So today, let's spare you of the same headache and help you avoid the management mistakes, shall we? This video is for you. Analyze your results. If you start posting on social media, it's crucial to analyze your results. For that, look at the engagement. It will help to see what works and what doesn't so you can improve your next post. Step five, engage on prospects content. Remember what we said? Social selling is all about building real relationships. So it's time to connect with your prospects. But starting out with a direct message can be seen as spammy and or salesy. After all, we don't know each other. Instead, start by engaging with their posts. This way, you position yourself as someone who has certain expertise in a domain, plus you become visible on your prospect's radar. Look at Nadia's comment here. What are your open rates, Samuel? It might not be the copy, it might be just the case of your email landing in spam instead of primary inbox. For any open rate below 50%, I check my tech setups. She is really invested and looking to help Samuel by asking for more details about his emails. She's looking for a solution for what could be the reason for low open rates and even offers to send a deliverability checklist. You can even see that other people in a target audience started replying to her comment asking to get a checklist too because it's valuable for them. Step 6. Join relevant communities. This can be on Slack, Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit, Discord, etc. Pick the one where your prospects are the most active. For example, if you're trying to help entrepreneurs scale their businesses, you look for something like a growth hacking community. And if you're an agency helping clients with cold email, you might look for something like a B2B sales community or even specifically cold email communities. Here, for instance, I would join the Lemless family because it's a community that discusses cold email, sales automation, and gross marketing. So try to pick around 10 of these and join the communities. Then go for them and see what people post about and what they are looking for. For example, here I see a poll asking the community what they have been struggling with the most lately. Email copywriting and booking more meetings are the most voted options. That's perfect. Next, I would start commenting and posting valuable content for this community. So try to solve their problems without asking for anything. That way you'll generate more super qualified leads. 
but never try to sell your product or you'll get banned very fast. Step seven, send multi-channel outreach campaigns. If you use all the methods we mentioned, you should start to generate leads coming to you after between one and three months. But what if I told you you could boost those numbers? What? Yeah. Social selling can be an element in your global multi-channel outreach campaign. This means you can add other things into the mix, LinkedIn profile visits and messages, comments and posts, emails, calls. Here's a 11-step campaign with the goal to generate leads and in the end, book more meetings. Step one, LinkedIn profile visit. Step two, like Twitter post. Step three, LinkedIn profile invite. Step four, comment on LinkedIn post. Step five, LinkedIn profile visit. Step six, email. Step seven, LinkedIn profile visit. Step eight, LinkedIn message. Step nine, follow up email. Step 10, LinkedIn profile visit. Step 11, closing email. The first five steps of the sequence are dedicated just to building the relationship for the channels our leads are most active on, LinkedIn and Twitter. Then we start sending an email for step six. Let's analyze why this email works. The subject line is personalized. Love your post, first name. You add context to your email. You're here because you've seen their posts, and you make a compliment at the same time. It makes the prospect want to know more. You start your email with a nice breaker, which is a personalized line about the prospect. Here, it would be about the person's LinkedIn post. That way, you show you've been following their work and you compliment them. It builds a relationship and encourages the prospect to keep reading. Now you get to the part where you're reaching out. You talk about the company's recent activity. Anyways, I saw that you guys are growing your team quite a bit. Number up in positions. I figured I would send over our best resources we used to get our sales team on board it. It shows you've done your research and you're keeping an eye on their company. You identify one of the challenges they can have with growing a team. It's so much fun expanding the team, but it's definitely not easy on your calendar. Then you add value to the lead to ease their process with two resources to help them get their new sales team on board it. Here you go. To enter the set up the email properly and protect your team's ability to land in the inbox, a deliverability checklist. And to help them hit the ground running, a best cold email teardowns and tips. You're focusing on helping them, you're not trying to sell your product. Then you end your email with a clear today asking for a casual call to talk about how things are going at the company. Again, you're making it all about them and they will appreciate it. But as you know, email inboxes can get really busy at times. So we added 200 social media steps to send a reminder and try to see if they prefer talking there. So a simple LinkedIn profile visit for step seven to remind the prospect of you and that you're still here. Then a LinkedIn message for step eight to see if they prefer talking here. Hey, first name, love seeing your post here. I saw that you guys are hiring and just wanted to see what you're up to. I already sent you an email with some info, but I wanted to connect here as well. Chat soon. It works because you're complimenting again about their post, you refer to the company news, and you add context saying you already sent two emails with some info. Then you ask if they prefer talking here, so that shows you care about your prospect and try to find the best way to talk to them. Then for step nine, she sends a follow-up email. Nadia sends a personalized video where she shares some sequences that their sales rep ran during the training. She doesn't send a basic follow-up, but she focuses on adding more value to help them. This email feels like she cares and still thinks about a prospect needs. For the ultimate follow-up, we usually not find a lead that we won't be reaching out anymore, so you're not pushy. And a way for them to connect us if they want to. And that's how it's done. So want to know the results we get when we have social media steps in our multi-channel campaigns? We get these. Emails, 79% open rate, 24% click rate, 21% reply rate. For LinkedIn, 62% accepted invite rate and 20% reply rate. So the most important thing to keep in mind is to focus on your lead and their needs. The channels that work best for them, plus the content that's going to help them the most. After that, you just need to monitor your results and adjust as needed. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Every time you hit that subscribe button, one of your prospects books a meeting.